About two years ago, we, uh, one of our scientists here, Dr Tom Trinsky, went on an expedition to the Kemedex Islands. And what we noticed when he, was the enormous response we had to our blog. And we really um, knew that there was a huge appetite amongst the public for hearing stories of science and also marine science. What we're really doing is trying to invite the visitor to be marine explorers. We started from the Auckland's east coast and um, move out into the Hauraki Gulf to the open water or pelagic environment there. We plunge them right down to the Kumadek Trench and the Kumadek Arc. And then we pop visitors back up again at the Kumadek Islands. This environment is um, what we call the specimen forest. So the idea here is that the, um, you can move um, around the objects to study and explore them. It's not only about just an object in a case and a label beside it, but it's really about um, creating um, a world or an environment um, where people can themselves engage, physically engage with the object and, and then discover the information about that object or what that object is. A little bit perhaps like um, how the scientist works in the field, which is a key part of the storytelling in this exhibition. Okay, this, is, um, this space here is a really good example of using moving image and, um, and lighting to capture the idea of the, the strong currents that, that are meeting at one another in the Kumadek Islands um, that force people up into the Kumadek of the exhibition. So we're really playing a lot with lighting effects, the colour of the sea, the water, as well as the, um, the, the power and the majesty of the ocean itself. Um, so what we're doing is we're heading down to the boil-up, which is uh, sort of an animation, but actually it's artific using artificial intelligence. And so what we're doing is um, they've done three me three D models or renders of fish and thousands of fish, and each of the fish have a brain of their own, so they're reacting to each other. And what we can control is how far apart they are from each other, and how attracted to are they are to each other, and how well they follow each other. And so when it, predators are introduced in a boil-up, um, the fish are behaving in quite a normal way, or what looks like a normal way. And it's quite amazing that this is all based on artificial intelligence and animation, but it looks so realistic that it could be the real thing. So we're just trying to get people to understand what's happening when they see a boil-up on the surface, where all the fish are scattering near the surface and breaking the surface and birds are diving in. What's happening below, below that? And we're trying to get people to experience that for themselves in this boil-up animation. So as a 2D designer at the museum, we kind of sit between the 3D designers, so all the spatial um, design that happens in here, and then the interpretation stuff, all the content. Um, and what's really cool about the labels in this exhibition is that um, they are drawn directly from how we, as a museum, actually label our specimens. One of the best, most exciting briefs I think I've actually had as a graphic designer in a, in a 2D, 3D context is this massive shark wall. Um, so this is 21 and a half metres long and um, we were given a brief to show the diversity of sharks in the Hauraki Gulf. And what's really interesting about this whole really great display is that there's, as you can see, 3D models. There's four 3D models. And then um, we've actually got 13 sharks in the Hauraki Gulf. So there's four models and the rest of them are two-dimensional illustrations of sharks. The one thing I like the most is the faces. They actually have real personalities. They've all got different eyes, the way their eyes look, the number of gills they have, and whether they're smiling or whether they're not. <laughs> um, when you come and have a look, you'll see all the differences of these really great sharks. One of the sharks uh, that, uh, that have been modeled is a great white shark. You'll be able to look at this and get a feel for the individual animal. So right down to the color patterns on her gills, and around her pelvic area here and on the tail and she's got two very prominent notches in her pectoral fin down here. We wanted to zero in in particular around the 10 to sort of 14 year old age group so we've really tried to make sure that we're tailoring the experience and, and the experiences within the exhibition to that group so that they are excited about science, they're excited about the the questions that, um, that we're trying to answer and also hopefully get excited about the questions that we're yet to ask.